You may not know the name Garrett Brown, but undoubtedly you have seen the work that one of his inventions, the Steadicam, has brought to countless movies, television shows, and commercials over the last 30 years or so. The Steadicam essentially makes heavy movie cameras weightless, and it has helped create some of the most memorable and dynamic scenes ever, many shot by Garrett Brown himself. Now he and Eric Golden of Equipoise have adopted Steadicam technology into something brand new. It's called Zero-G, and it's not just for guys named Kubrick, Spielberg, and Scorsese. They're here to explain it to us. Okay, gentlemen, welcome. Thanks for coming in today. Pleasure. So tell me, this is not a Steadicam, but it has Steadicam DNA in it. What, is it. what does it do exactly? Well, when we did the Steadicam, which is a camera stabilizer and a support years ago, I didn't understand that I'd actually solved an ergonomic problem, which is how do you, you know, carry a weight out here mm -hmm. uh, and you know, do it with some finesse and not hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. Fast forward a lot of technology later, Eric uh, Golden came after me and said this would be great for flying tools for workmen who are hurting themselves under production lines. And you know, even if it's an eight or a 10 or a 40 pound tool like this nearly, suddenly it's weightless. So and that's the plan. Eric, there is uh, a, a tremendous amount of money spent every year on workplace injuries. What, what is the need here for a tool like this? Well, you're exactly right, Clayton. It, it's actually a problem that can cost upwards of $125 billion a year for U.S. businesses. Um, the fact is human bodies were not made to heft heavy weights for periods of weeks, much less a career of years. Mm -hmm. And what happens is people get injured. Um, it affects their quality of life, and it costs their employers uh, a lot of money. Um, and there are also efficiency problems because people get tired at the end of an eight-hour shift holding a tool that can weigh 10 or 16 pounds. When you take away the gravity, you essentially solve that problem, and people can work uh, longer without getting hurt and with more precision. Okay. Tell me what sort of industries you envision this being used in. I mean, this is, this is not for home improvement necessarily, right? Well, it could be eventually, but we started with uh, large manufacturers. So um, world-leading companies in aerospace, automotive, heavy machinery, uh, who use tools that can be this big or even bigger. And so the idea is you would install some of these along the factory line. It's, it's easily moved. Does it have to stay in one place? It could swing in on a, on, a, on a secondary arm or a gantry. You, know, you want to get the business end of it near the shoulder of the worker, and then we give them that much freedom, the same freedom your human arm has. Okay. Let's take a look at it. Sh show me how it works. How, how Do you want to see the, the heft, the size of this thing just Certainly. for a moment? Certainly. Yeah, big, heavy tool. Yeah. And what is this tool exactly? This is a rivet squeezer used in the aerospace industry, and it's hard to believe that somebody deploys that for a long shift. That weighs as much as four gallons of water. It's wow. 28, 30 pounds. And, and somebody is lifting this routinely through their day above their head. And not only that, they head. have to hold it precisely to do this job. And if they're trembling or shaking, there's a potential for the work being harmed. You know? Okay. And uh, let's see. And let's so see our it. mission is to, is to render this absolutely weightless, right? And this is the effect. Wow. Just floats. Yeah, you're a you know fingertip operator now, and you have complete angular freedom. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And now you can, since you're not lifting it, your fine motor control is really extremely good. And you can take it as high as you can lift it. Uh, range of motion is pretty yeah, good. It, it, sure. It, it equals the range of motion of your arm if you put this business right here near your shoulder. Okay. And it, you know this is good for weights even as light as uh, we have a version coming out that will float the human arm because people are hurting themselves doing fine laboratory, medical, surgical, dental mm -hmm. operations with their arm held out for you know, three or four hours. So Tell me about that. Like surgery, right? You're, you're in an operating room and you're doing a, a procedure where you're in one place f for a long period of time. This would be used for that? Exactly. It, it turns out if, if you were just to hold your arm out for some period of time and start to feel it in your shoulder, mm -hmm. If you do that for hours at a time, as in surgery or dental procedures, or even in laboratory research, it starts to become problematic. People mm -hmm. start to shake, and over the course of years, they can have debilitating injuries. Mm -hmm. um, we've developed a version that will literally just float the weight of your own arm, and so you can work with the exact same range of motion, at least as much precision, but without the fatigue. <laughs> Thank you.
Good things just got better. Introducing an all new third hour of Good Morning America. Welcome to Good Morning America Now. Good Morning America Now. Good Morning America Now. On ABC News Now. Get your Good Morning America Now at abcnewsnow.com.